All right, so one last midnight. Today we're going to play a little bit of Foundation. I haven't played Foundation in a very long time. I I actually supported the company when they were doing their initial uh, funding round, and I, I mean I thought I was very interested in the game. I it looked great. I'm I'm a big fan of builder games. I like the graphic style. And so I wanted to support them. And so I think I'm like at a Duke level or something like that. I think I gave them a hundred bucks or something. And uh, I'm supposed to be when they're done in the credits as a Duke, which is cool. But it's been a good year since I played. And so I'm interested. And, and it's kind of interesting because they have different map types. So I haven't I haven't seen any of the new maps so I, I want to check some out. So, Create Teen, what's going on? Tay, Aztec, Random, how's everybody doing tonight? Let me know if the audio is good, if the stream is good, if everything else is good. And let's get in. I, I don't know what map I should choose. Uh, John, what's going on? Goblin. So let's go with, should we go with Valley? Should we go with valley? Should we go with hills, coastal? What What are you guys thinking? I gotta vote for valley. Got a couple votes for coastal. Two votes for Valley, two votes for Coastal, one vote for Mountain. I'm going to go with... Let's see. If anybody puts in Coastal or Valley next, they win. Let's go with uh, Coastal, Water and Land, Coastal, Mountain, Mountain, Mountain. All right. Well, it looks like Coastal is winning. So let's go with Coastal. We're going to start the game. See what the map looks like. We'll, we'll see. I mean, if we have to flip and go back to the main menu, we, we will do it. So, you know, no biggie. I think I did hit start game. Remember, this is early access. So please be aware of the fact that it is early access. Uh, here's some help stuff that's gone on. I'm going to pause it really fast. I think it... Okay, now it's paused. And let's look at our map. So we start off with sections that we can use, right? Um... You know, here's a nice little area. I, I like this forestry back in here. I like this hilltop for possible castle monastery up here. That would be cool overlooking this kind of area. This area would have to be the main building city area. There is a, a little bit of veggies here, a little bit of stone here. I could start with this one. And take the, you know, the berries and the stone in this area. Let's go over here to this other area where it looks like I can also... Yeah, this is kind of really far away. This would take a lot to finally get over there. But, look at this. There is iron here. So that's like two or three land buys before I can get to that iron. Though there's not a whole lot of other stuff laying around. This is a huge stone deposit. Another berry area, so that's good for food. So, you know, within three tiles here, I could have a nice little deal. Uh, there is... And then I could get into the whole coastal. Those are the only things that I could buy right now. This guy, this guy, and or this guy, and this guy. So let's, let's pick one. I, I'm going to go for... I think I'm going to go for this one right here. I'm going to go for this one here because it's flat land. I could then start expanding out my town in this area. And then over here, we can start working our way up here. So let's, let's go for it. I'm going to go for this. We need to put down our town center, our village center. Let's get that. Uh, yeah, well, let's get it in the center here. Why, why don't we do that? How about right about... Right about there. Okay. So that's a village center. Now, the things we need to start first right away. Gathering hut because we need footage. Right? So we're going to put down this little cutesy gathering hut. 
I love the graphics of this. I, I really do. I, I really appreciate the graphics of this. Left click, pace building, right click, uh, control, horizontal movement. There we go. I like the, the way you position and stuff. Let's turn it towards the berries. Yeah, I got it. I, I don't want to screw up any of these trees, but I do want to see the front of this. Yeah, how about this? Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, I'm going to stick this right here. Okay, done and done. They're going to come build that in a minute. Uh, let's get down the Stonecutter's Camp. Stonecutter's Camp is... Uh, Granary, yeah, Stonecutter's Camp. This is what I want. I put the Stonecutter's Camp... Well, I didn't know I could put it on that hill. I don't know that I want it on that hill. I I'm going to put it back over here. Around about the trees. Okay. There's the Stonecutter's Camp. Let's get the well. Do I need a well in the center? I thought the village center had a well, but I guess it doesn't have a well. Let's put a well uh, roughly in the village center area. Okay. And let's get a lumbering camp. And I'm going to need a sawmill as well. So lumber camp, we're going to stick over here. And I'm going to put the sawmill right around in this area. Where's the front of the sawmill? That's the front of the sawmill. Let's put it to the back side of the lumber camp so they don't have to go around the building. Okay, good. All right, we have our initial building set up. Let's get everybody going. Let's, um, I need people. Let's get a couple people going as builders until we can get stuff built. All right, everybody's going to go do their thing. Little cutesy people. Yeah, carrying stuff over. Oh, you get to work, bug eye. Oh, do it. Do it. I don't know why you grabbed that tree because I didn't tell you to grab that tree. So we're going to speed up time. We're going to get these initial buildings built as fast as humanly possible. Can we only go 3x? Yeah, we can only go 3x for now. I don't entirely know why. Settler 3 was great. This has some ideas from that. People wearing paths and grass. Yeah, it's, I, I like the path, the, the grass path concept. Oh, that was pretty nice. Now, we have the ability to add a forager in to get berries. Now, we only have a limited number of people. And people come when they're happy, right? So, my villagers are going to come in, what, uh, one week, two days? Where it used to be up here. They might have changed it. Villager information window. Excuse me. Migration will happen in five days. So, I'll get some more guys coming in five days authorize upgrade houses and density house upgrade okay that's fine so right now we're on very limited amount of people so let me get somebody assigned to forager just one person assigned to forager there they go they're off they're going to become a forager and they're going to start oh wait we need to assign the work area so we need to assign an extraction point so there's the extraction point for that and now they'll be able to work this area. Oh, there they go. Okay. So now they're extracting away. All right. So the lumber camp has now been built. Let's assign two guys to be woodcutters. And let's get an extraction point for the woodcutters. I want to get rid of all of the wood that's over here. So let's just clear this out as best as humanly possible. Work on this side. We'll go back and fix the extraction point later. Done and done. Oops. Okay, man. Come on. Come on. Jam on it. All right. That's done. Okay. So our two lumber guys are going to go and start chopping away. Is stone done? Did they say stone got done? Uh, Did my stone mill? It did. My. S oh, he's still on the construction. All right. So he's still waiting on the construction. There we go. Good. Let's assign one stone cutter. And I'm going to sign one saw, saw guy as soon as I can. We're going to put an extraction zone down for this. Pink. Okay, good. And so he can start doing his work. And as soon as the sawmill is complete, then we can do that. 
I have a new quest for granary. Uh, I get 100 gold for a granary. I really don't have people to work the granary right now. I guess I can. Can I put it down to it? It costs money and stuff. So it costs 50 gold to put down a granary, which is uh, used for stocking and trading resources of types. We can actually, can I put it here? That doesn't look bad. I mean, right here on the side of this mountain actually looks kind of okay. Let's put it there. I kind of like the look of that. Looks pretty neat. Catcho, what's going on? Nerd, what's going on? Uh, let's see here. Now, I don't know how they did this. I don't know how that, you know, a lot of stuff has changed. The granary mechanics have changed. So it's going to be kind of interesting. So right now we're a little bit low on lumber. That's why this building is not getting built very quickly. We're having to wait for raw lumber. Uh, two people passed by. One decided to join. That's kind of a new mechanic as well because you typically always got two people. So I guess they're, uh, they actually, oh God, they decide to do that. Now we have a little bit of a problem here. What about residential land? Did they change that whole concept? How is residential land working? Uh, do, 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 budget trading menu. Granary, sawmill, lumber. Decorative bush market. Yeah. How did you used to be able to paint in residential land? Okay, build a granary. Assign a new transporter. Assign to granary. Assign berries to granary. As soon as that's done. Always display territory boundaries. Always display zoning area. Hmm. Desirability. Residential. Yeah. I, I'm supposed to be able... I thought I was supposed to be able to paint in residential. Did they change it? Oh, they changed so much. So that's going to mess up your town? Probably. Used to be able to paint in residential. I, I don't know how to paint in residential anymore. When does that happen? All right, hold on. We're going to actually have to look at the help menu, believe it or not. Uh, quit the main menu settings. Save game. Where is the help menu nowadays? Ooh. Okay, how about F1? No. <laughs> no, oh, here it is. Okay, uh, building housing. Foundation houses are built by the villagers themselves. They will build houses once you reach the surf status. To allow them to build houses, you need to paint the residential zone. Okay, how do you get there? Uh, maybe after I finish the wood cutting area? Uh, let's see what happens. I don't need to see this. Desirability layers? Let's turn that off. Let's see, what am I missing for this? Oh, I'm missing stone. We have a guy working stone. Let's get this guy also working stone. All right, two stone cutters are working. Yeah, we're a little bit light on stone right now. Which is a little bit problematic. All right, he's going to go carry some stone. Hopefully, is this finished? No. Okay, so I gave them a lot to do. The problem is I gave them too much to do. So we're going to have to wait. We're going to have to wait. So, okay, so they're going to finish off the well. That's fine. That's perfect. Now stone is going to start getting delivered in other places. Preferably, yes, it'll go to the lumber. So we'll start getting the sawmill going. Hopefully when the sawmill is completed, I'll be able to paint down residential, which would be nice. I need to focus also on getting rid of this uh, forestry area. So I'll have them work on that forestry area too. So I haven't finished the first quest. I just started again. 
Jimmy, what's going on? Great game? Yes, it's been a long time since I played it. If you search the channel, I got it when it was in pre-alpha, the pre-alpha phase. And uh, yeah, it's been a long time since I played. I've been waiting for it to grow up a little bit, waiting for the mechanics to change a little bit, and they are, and it seems like they're doing a good job so far. Of course, I've only been in for like the last, what, I don't know, uh, 15 minutes? <laughs> and, and half of those was trying to decide where I wanted to be. So we'll see how it turns out. They did change the way villagers join the village, though, which I thought was uh, very, very interesting. So I have, you know, in one day, I'll have a couple of villagers come by and take a look and or possible take a look and, and see if they want to join the village or not. It's not an automatic, you get two guys. Yeah, so two people passed by, one decided to join this time around. And since one decided to join, woodcutter, 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 I'm still gonna need uh, some other people here. I mean, I can, at this point in time, let's see. Well, I don't wanna unemploy my builder. Not yet, I will when I, the granary is gonna be done soon. Do you like things growing organically and not in grids? Yeah. My happiness is not that great right now. We, we really need to get some housing in. So the sawmill's almost done, which I think once I have the sawmill done, I can actually put down housing, we'll see. Catherine's dropping off the piece of stone. Okay, sawmill's done. Can I actually paint residential? No. I'm waiting for a builder. What? Let me have a builder. Oh, that was, let me have a, a worker. Let's get two workers for this. Okay, let's unemploy this builder. And this last piece of stone will come in. It's coming from Catherine again. She's a heavy duty worker. Good. All right, that's finished. We're gonna assign, I think we just assigned berries to that slot, good. And I need to assign a villager. We'll get Catherine as the villager. And there we go. Okay, so I got an extra 100 gold, which is great. I have a new quest, finish the needs of you, or fill the needs of your newcomers. What does that mean? Build a granary, fill the needs of your newcomers. Fill the needs of my newcomers, what? Global happiness, warning window, all is good. <laughs> Can I get, when do I get freaking zo? Granary, sawmill, well, stone cutter, lumber cutter, gathering hut, we did it all. The only thing I haven't put in is a market. What is, oh God, the whole market thing has changed. What does the market need? What if I do a food stall? Just 10 wood for a food stall. Wow, the entire market thing has changed. No way, get out of here. Uh... I really don't have anybody to, to do the market yet. Okay, I finally have wood. How can I not have any kind of land? What do I have to put down before I can... I mean, I have all of this down. I'm going to camp well. I have the well down. Provides water to villagers. Let's put down a market. That's the only thing that I don't have, right? Is a market. Now let's put down a market. I'm just going to stick down a market here. Hopefully this is going to solve my problem. Now start construction. Maybe that'll help. I, I don't know if that's going to help or not, but maybe it'll help. 
Uh, build a market. Okay, there we go. Build a well, build a market. Can people die? Yeah, and leave? For sure. Surf level to paint resident. Yep, I saw that message. All right, market's in place. Workers assign zero. Who can I get rid of? Let's get rid of this builder. Market tender. Okay. We're going to do berries. Hey, what's up, bud? Uh, sell stuff. Raise your villager status to surf. Raise a villager status to surf. Is that an automatic thing? Oh, wait. Do they need to level? Okay, I think I did it. That that's a little interesting that they didn't I, I don't know what indicator that was. I don't know where it said you're now a surf or not a surf or you want to go surfing or anything along those lines. Let's do um let's extract out this area. Get that area painted for extraction. Let's start building our houses. We'll get some paint some residential uh, right up in here for now. Some residential down in here. As soon as I clear out that the, that wooded area, we'll expand our residential off that way. Okay, so these guys are going to be happy. They're going to start building. Um, how many builders do I have? Recognize your in, uh, blah, your efforts in establishing a settlement. I am but a humble servant. I am but a humble servant, my lord. My lord! Unlock the warehouse from the labor estate panel. What? Three villagers lacking housing? Yeah, I, I know we have a problem right now. Our builder should be building something here. Why are our people not building? I assign residential. There is enough. Somebody should start building. I have a builder. Carpenter, forager, trade market tender, stone cutter, stone cutter, transporter. Uh, let's turn you into a builder. Going a mason. Hmm. Hmm. Unlock the warehouse. Housing crisis. I know. <laughs> Surf equals your villager ranks. Boy, that that is brilliant. That is a brilliant response. Good job. Good job. Rustic church. No, can't do that. Decorative bush fence. Stone mason. Polished goods in exchange for stone. Hmm. Come on, bud. I mean, like, residential should be big enough. Are there weather events? I don't know if they put in weather events yet. Okay, finally somebody decided to build. Somebody decided to build a house. Build a house, they go. All right, let's get rid of the extraction zone up in here. I'll put the extraction zone back in for the berries, but I want my lumber guys to focus on getting rid of the lumber in that area. So let's just get the extraction here, and they'll focus on getting lumber out, and then I can turn around and get... Um, some houses into this place over here. All right, good. One house is going to go down. Down. As soon as I have enough money, which is 500, I can buy a new piece of land. 
A new tier of unlockables. Really? Just a forestry camp. I haven't seen like anything else though. We got one little house. Capacity's two. Catherine and Isabel. I, I don't know if they're going to make really a great couple for... Uh, increasing our population at all. Six villagers are lacking housing. I'm aware that you're lacking housing. I have a feeling my residential zoning is not big enough. Dang it. Alright, I don't want residential up in here. Residential all wrong. This road is fine. Let's bring it down over here for now. Actually, let's zone it out of here. Uh, I, I really want to get rid of these trees first. All right, hopefully that's going to help. Somebody going to village, village up. You're going to build up. Okay, another building's going down right there. Need to have mail consorts. Right. They need to have 10x speed, is what they need to have. Forester camp's available. Okay, that's good. I don't need to forester camp right now. I'm just kind of clearing out some area. Uh, what is it going to take to get trading going? What do I need for trading? Unlock route for 20 planks. I have that. And do they do tools? They're selling tools for 20 gold. Let's unlock that. Trading resources. I want to keep my tools up, so I want to buy tools. I want to buy to the max of 10. Buy until I reach that value, right? I don't ever want to go below 10. And then, what are they going to... Let's see, they'll buy berries for two gold. And what is that? Wine? Ooh, sweet. Planks for two. Stone, polished stone for five. That's actually a nice little uh, bit of income. I have one guy who's unemployed right now. Um, let's look at our ratio for work. Okay, we can add another guy to the forester. Uh, to the forger, excuse me. Actually, let's remove a guy from the fort. Can I remove a guy? No. No, I don't need two foragers. How's my berries? 32. Yeah, I don't need two. Uh, I think that's pretty whacked. Harry and Julia are unemployed, but for some reason... They're still listed here. So that's kind of funky. Uh, finally updated. Okay. Let's take... Uh, let's put Juliet on the woodcutter. She needs to buff up. She needs to buff up or she'll never get a man. We still have five villagers lacking housing. Uh, okay, they did clear out this area. Beautiful. Let's get rid of the extraction. Here. Let's get rid of this extraction zone. Yeah, let's put down residential. Get this residential area filled out. Okay. We could put some residential up here. Let's allow people to build up on the hill. And we're good. All right, let's go. Somehow I'm not hearing the audio anymore. Okay, I hear it. 
Good, they're getting all their housing in. Awesome. This is going to be a nice little area over here for farmland. Oh, that's right. Extraction zone for wood cutting is done. Let's get some extraction zone in for wood cutting. Get these guys back over here. Chopping away. I might need to get the forester down, but we'll see what happens. I'm hoping we're very close to getting enough money. We need to just watch this money. Once this gets to 500, we need to pause really fast and buy a new plot of land. And I think it's going to be over here. We're going to buy this plot of land over here and then we're going to farm the piss out of it. We've got a big farm, man. Where's fishing? i got to get down to the water first before I can do fishing. Wow, villagers are getting up on that hill. They're getting on that hill big time. All right, four people were passing by. Two decided to join the village. Way to go. Way to go, two people. How are we doing for work? All right, let's get another forger in. Of course, the more people we have, the more buildings we have to have. We have to have more housing. All that noise. You know, there used to be a happiness window where you could see what's going on. The envoy from somebody is requesting an audience. The envoy from image one <laughs> is requesting an audience. Well, hello, envoy. My lord, we need to choose who wants to help. <laughs> I shall assist the king. I'll assist the clergy. I will assist the people. All right, what is this? This quest will give you 30 berries. I'll deliver 30 berries to get, I, I don't know, fighting in 10 days. How about the people? Deliver 30 berries to get tools and 10 tools? 30 berries. Okay, let's do that. How, how do I go about doing that business? Uh, berry sold this week, 16. Can I resist the amount of berries that I have in here? Hmm. How do, can I pause? How do I pause this? Okay, wait. Because I paused this, are the berries going to go back this way? How does this work? What happened to my 40-something berries I had? Did I just foobar this? Where's my unemployed guys? I want you to be a transporter. I want you to be a transporter. Should help the clergy gain power. God on your side. <laughs> right. I need to get 30 berries though. <laughs> they ate the berries? I think I deleted the berries. I think that's what I did. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what happened, but we're going to keep this open. And then once this gets to... <laughs> they ate him, you saw it. DBA, what's going on, man? Uh, 22 berries. Current resource count, 22. That's going to go up, right? Is that how this works? Guys are dropping the berries off. You're not just eating the berries, are you? Can we go max stock? Okay. Yeah, drop them berries off, yo! 
Now, I don't really understand how I'm supposed to deliver these berries. Okay, I have 31 berries. Fish, honey, wine, no. So how do I... Okay, it's green. Click to deliver. All right, delivered it. All right, good. Go back to stock and berries. I got 200 gold. All right, time to buy another plot of land. No, not budget. Territory. All right, territory. I can buy a new plot of land. I, I'm going to buy this plot of land. Because, now hear me out here. Because it's important for you to hear me out. I need this. I need this. <laughs> I need the forestry here. And I need the berries and I need all this. You know, so stop trying to talk me out of it. I'm doing it. All right, I expanded my unit. Now, big question is, uh, I don't want people to walk too far. Extraction zone. Let's extract out. Well, let's get rid of the whole extraction zone for now. And put this back in place. And then let's come right down. Let's clear all of this nonsense out. I think I probably should move over uh, the forestry and stuff. Is what I should do. Did I, can I move the forestry? What was the forestry cost to build? Like the lumber camp. See, it's five tools. Oh, gee. Five tools to build a lumber camp. And when I demolish it, do I get anything back? I get two tools back. Mm. It would be better to move the lumber camp down here. For now. And the sawmill. What's the sawmill take? To build. Sawmill, uh, 10 stone, 20 lumber. I mean, I have plenty of lumber. I just don't have. Why is a lumber camp five tools? I, I don't understand. Oh, 20 gold. I'm poor right now. Forget it. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. He's dumb. Blame Aztec? Dude. All the way. Yeah, I want to put the church over here. Have I watched the boys yet? I came, I saw, I milled. <laughs> That's funny. I, I haven't seen the boys. Was I supposed to watch the boys or something? What was I supposed to be doing with that? Gary donated 25 bucks. Gary! Dude, man. That is extremely kind of you. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. Really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much, sir. Um, It's on Prime. I don't have Prime anymore. I got rid of my Prime. Jeff Bezos has enough of my money. All right. No migration right now. I'm anti-Jeff Bezos right now. He has too much of my money. All right, I have two unemployed people. Let's look at my list. I could use another transporter. Sawmill? I don't have anybody for the sawmill? What is that all about? How did that happen? Did I lose people? Uh, can somebody tell me what happened here? How did I lose people?
Wow, that's bizarre. That's my bizarre, bizarre. Rumor is he's going to split up Amazon. He's going to split it up so he can make more money. He won't be happy until we have a B&L. Bezos in Limited or something. <laughs> you know, from Wally, B&L. Every corporation just was B&L and they took over the world and then they sent us all into space. And <laughs> B&L. Was it by and large or something like that? It was B and L. I've been watching on Netflix uh, American Horror Tale. That's disturbing. Rustic Church. How big is it? Why don't I have a thing for the rustic church? I don't even have... Oh, what's the core? I really want to put the rustic church up here. This is where I want my church to be. Yeah, why don't we do the church here? Let's see, if I do the church... I'm gonna need a door. And a wooden cross. Give JC some props here. A small tower A. Yeah, I want I want a tower on the back side like this. It's gotta have the bell. What's the small tower B look like? Slightly different design. And oh maybe I should have the wooden cross on top of can I have another wooden cross? Can I have two? Nope. It won't let me do a wooden cross there. So what is that going to cost me? It's going to cost me 13 tools, 70 stone. Uh, wow. Can I move this whole unit? Oh, I can. I like. I likey like. How about we bring it down? Just a, I just want to rotate it just a little bit. All right. All right, let's bring religion to my villagers. Start working on that, people. Have fun with that. That's going to take you time. The Aussie's Gold Hunter series on Netflix. Nice. I like watching those Gold Hunter those Gold Hunter vids, the shows. One villager lacks space for housing. Why is that? You can't build on this over here? Come on, bud. I gave you ample space to build. <sighs> Alright, let's see if I can I can break they don't wanna they don't wanna live here. <laughs> I don't know why they don't wanna live there, but they don't wanna live there. So I have to deal with these people not wanting to live in specific areas. See, look at that. As soon as I, I did that up, he wanted to live there. That hill was not a good idea to build on. Probably going to have to move everybody's house to, to like down here or something. How much money do I have? 240? Not enough. I probably just spent a ton of money on... Um, <laughs> Nerf too late! What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> wow you guys are awesome thank you so much nerd <laughs> really appreciate that man that's some good stuff right there both you guys you guys are the cream of the crap all right see the problem is i can't get more people in right now because i really don't have space i, I really need another block of land but i don't have space to do that so, what are we going to do here? What are we going to do? Uh, so, this weekend in... I've taken... I, I told you guys I'm taking an art class, right? You guys have been, maybe have been seeing the pictures. I need to make a section for, for uh, artwork that I can stick stuff into. 
And yeah, they're working on killing the forest. Um, so I'm... I'm going to start working on the new Ashenir mug for this year. So I've been doing like one every year. So the first one, I, only a handful of people have it, right? I, I made three total. Mine broke, so there's really only two in existence anymore. And, um, and then, you know, the last one that I put out, a lot of people purchased the last one. But this new one, so I'm going to do it in pastel. Not watercolor this time. And I think I have an idea for it. So what I'll do is, because Gina asked for this the other day, is that she uh, would like to see like a, a stream of it. I can't do a stream of it. What I can do is record as I'm working on it, and then I can put up the recording. So I can do that. If that's something you guys want to see. If it's not something you guys want to see, then then forget it. Forget it. Warfrat, what's going on, bud? Cyber, what's going on? Like any builder game, we're kind of in like a limbo stage here. We're just we're working our way up. We're doing our thing. You know, there's not too much that I can build right now. I The church is going to take a long time. I mean, they're going to work on it, but... Forget it. The tools? It's going to take a while to get the tools built up. I'm going to have to buy more tools. So the only place I'm making money right now is off the market. That's the only place I'm making money. And I really can't put down anything else. I don't, I don't have any of the other advanced stuff, like the dairy farm, cheese maker, all that stuff. I don't have it yet. So I'm waiting for these guys to clear out this area. They're working hard. They're lumbering away. I could probably add a couple more people. But there says there's two villagers that are lacking housing already. So let me go back and look at my area for housing. I think this guy is building, right? I mean, I don't understand why they're not building anything. Waiting for a builder. I have two builders. Oh, okay. Well, sure. Hold on. Let, let me get this. Let me pause this. Okay. Pause construction there. This guy will get his house built. And they'll be a little bit happy. You gave up on the Xbox version of Ashenir and went on to the PC version. Cool. Oh, I know you got broken. Hey, don't worry about it. Look, I, this is what I tell people. If you can't donate, don't worry about it. I love you guys anyways. And thank everybody for donating. I do really appreciate that. Dave, is Dave in? Did I miss Dave? 16! I didn't see a 16 over there, but then again, you know, I focused on this. So I'm sorry about that. Okay, a house is built, but it still says I'm lacking two. Dave's not here, man. <laughs> Somebody said Dave was here. Somebody said Dave was here. 62! There's Dave. What's going on, bud? All right, good. Everybody should have a house, right? Two villagers lack space for housing. Why is that? I don't understand. I gave everybody enough room, didn't I? That is freaky. 
Build on the hill. There's plenty of room there. You guys don't want to live there anyways. Yeah. See if somebody wants to build there. Get rid of this extraction point. Once this area gets cleared out, that, that'll give me a lot more room to put down for housing and stuff. Of course, and then I'm going to have to start focusing on uh, things like other stuff. All right, let these houses get built. I Okay, I, I have enough room now. And now got rid of that warning message. I have enough room. People are building. There's some dude coming in. Hello, dude. Are you... Are you like some emissary or something? Oh, uh, did you sell me tools? Tell me you're the tool sell guy. Hey! Hey! Get back here! Somebody's... I'm training tools, right? Trading resources. Buying. Buy until inventory reaches this level. Ten. They are selling tools for 20 gold. Weak. Weakness. Okay, do I have enough? Is everybody finally done? They're done building? No more houses are going up? Is that it? Is everybody happy now? Alright, everybody's happy now. Let's put the church back in. The problem with these people, they don't have any religion. That's their problem. Prioritize construction. Good. They're going to get start working on that. The berries are still looking good. I don't want any immigration right now. I have 18 people. I'm happy with that. All is good. <laughs> I have to concentrate on things like other stuff. Uh, there's a way to put in quotes. How is there a way to put it? Hold on. Let me pause this again. Let me, let me tell you the way to put in quotes. There is a way to, to add quotes to the system. And I think the moderators can do it. So quotes. Let's see. Oh, you can do it by click add quote to start or use the command add quote text in chat. Let's see if you guys have that command. Default command. Quote. Add quote. Yep, moderators can do it. Moderators can add quotes. Okay, going back to the, to the game here. Hey, can we, can we name our villagers? Can I name them? Oh, I can't name my villager. Follow villager, view workplace, view home. Lodging, he's good. He needs beer, probably. I'm on my free time looking to fill my needs. Oh, uh, that sucks that I can't rename them. No, hopefully they change that. I want to be able to rename my villager. Level one housing. Huh. They'll allow me to rename the church. They won't allow me to rename a person. Come on. Come on. Name the village 16. Can I rename the village? No, it's just village center. Unlock the warehouse from the labor estate panel. What are you talking about? Labor estate panel. I don't see any labor estate panel.
Ah. Okay. Oh. I didn't know we can do that. What? Oh, wow. They really changed this. I had no idea that you could do that. Hmm. Okay. What does that give me? But I already had the warehouse, right? What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. That's what you get for playing early access games, right? That's just the way of it. The way that it works. Oh, wait. Oh, I had 500. Dang it, and I missed it. Oh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We're just watching money right now. Go up to 500. Go up to 500. Set my first trade route. Oh, there it is. 500. Unlock the trade route getting five tools. Good. One free territory. Ooh, I got a free territory too. All right. Let's look at the territories. I can buy a territory and I get a free territory. Should we do the water? Probably should do the water right now. All right, and for 500 gold, I probably should unlock this one because I need to expand out my housing. So let's get that one taken care of. All right, I'm poor again. I'm poor again. Okay. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Start moving my villagers over. So for extraction area, I had extraction area all in here. Let's get rid of this extraction area for now. We'll, we'll get back to it. There's a more important extraction area I want to get rid of. Which is right down here. I want to extract all of these trees out of here. Get rid of all of these guys. Yeah, see ya. See you later, buds. Let's get rid of all that. And I also want to get rid of as much as this as humanly possible. Okay. Oops. Sorry. And then I'll go and... Um, I, I'm going to move these houses. I don't like these houses being here. I think these are probably a good, good area for, like, sheep or something. But that's it. Uh, you can rename the village in the left side of the screen. Yeah, you know where. Be more specific than that. Killing me, schmaltz. Allow to purchase trade from the trade panel. I did that. Build a warehouse. What is this then? Oh, that's a granary. Build a warehouse. Build a warehouse. Get in a warehouse. Let's move this warehouse. Can I get this warehouse right here? It doesn't look sexy there. I don't have any money for it. Uh, sugar dump. Sugar dump. Where's my money? Down by the middle left. What? My field. Oh, I see it. I see it now. Envoy is requesting an audience. I can't give you any time right now, sir. I'm in the middle of building something. We're trying to, anyways. Uh, man, it's an ugly place for a warehouse, but I'm going to build it right there. All right, what are we naming the village? Give me a name for the village. Give it to me. 16. Done. Sixteen. This is Dave's town. No mess with Dave's town.
All right, get the warehouse, assign the warehouse. Allow to purchase from the trade panel. I did. I still haven't seen anything. That's <laughs> how the church is the 16th chapel. Is it really? <laughs> is it really? Is it called that? No, so... No, uh, we'll call it... Let's see. Hmm... The Holy Sixteenth Church. <laughs> the Holy Sixteenth. All right, church is renamed. I really wish, I I, I really wish this would go to. Uh, five X. It needs to be five X. <laughs> oh yeah, the sixteen. All right, assign a villager from the warehouse. Okay, done. I didn't realize I had anybody unemployed, but it's done. Completed the warehouse. Assign a villager to the warehouse. Am I gonna start getting tools? Cause I need tools bad. Trade is enabled. Somebody please get me trade. Trade some tools. Is this guy, is this guy gonna give me tools? Hey bud, come on in. Uh, would you go there first? There's no reason for you to go there. Go over to the new Fandango warehouse. Oh, do I have to sign what I want? Dang it. Tools. Okay. I just missed him. Dang it. Alright. Well. So much for that, right? My lumber guys are working, right? Are you extracting away? Where are you extracting? I don't even see you guys chopping anything. All I see is you standing here, miss. Why are you... Why is your... Okay, she disappeared. Now she's back again. What is wrong with you, woman? She's kind of freaky like that. Is is there is it because I haven't raw food, luxury goods, food. Can I put wood in here? What if I put wood in there? And I put lumber in there, planks in there. Maybe because I have... No free space? Was that the problem? Sixteen le steps to enlightenment. Ah, oh, God, that's it. That's it. Okay, now they're chopping. Okay, so maybe maybe I was full. The problem is maybe I was full. It sounds like I'm I'm part of the like a Ferengi group or something. <laughs> this is the Ferengi town. So nobody asks, uh, you know, nobody, I, oh, my first church is established. I don't, so I don't think anybody answered the question on the whole art. Do you guys actually want to see me do the artwork? 
I have no priest. Hmm. Make Rita's. Oh, God. Make Rita's. Church of the Press Latinum. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Welcome to the Church of the Press Latinum. Uh, I have no priest, but everybody's going to church. What is up with that? Well, no, I got a priest. Complete recommended commoner. New status commoner. I've opened up a ton of stuff now. Nice. Nice. Bakery. Should I get a farm in? What? It, there's like a uh, farm. It shows me farmland, right? Desirable layers. Fertility. Ooh, look at that fertility. That's some good stuff right there. Mm-hmm. That's some good stuff right there. A dairy farm. 150 gold tools. A lot of tools. All of stone. A wheat farm. Tools. A lot of tools. A windmill. A lot of tools. Wheat farm. A lot of tools. Weaver hut. Taylor's house. Man, I'd love to do some of these things. We could do a... Uh, not a... Stone Mason. A stone Mason hut takes five cloth. Polish stone in exchange for stones. But it takes five cloth for that. And 25 gold. How did I get a negative 196 gold? Uh, isn't anybody putting into the church till? What's, uh, uh, Hey guys, why is nobody making donations to my my churchly goods here? My earthly goods, the the holy sixteenth. Why why are we? Taxes are not that bad. Oh, I'm in the poorhouse now. I'm gonna have to start trading here. Um. Hold on. Hold the phone, brothers and sisters. Empty stock, stock maximum. Can we put in some berries? No. We have berries in here. We have 50-something berries in here. I'm going to double up on berries. And can I start trading some berries? I don't want budget. Oh yeah, let's look at the budget. What, how, where's my money going? Villagers are consumption. Eight gold. That's a maintenance cost. 175. Trade expense. 60. Oh, did I buy a ton of stuff? Territory taxes is 85. My income is 140 something. My expenses are out of the roof. What the heck, people? Why are the expenses so high? It doesn't itemize these expenses. Oh, yes, it does. Sorry. Warehouse, 42 gold. The warehouse is 42 gold. The rustic church is 49. <laughs> Ripped down the church of 16. Oh, my God. Why is the warehouse so freaking expensive? Holy mother. Um, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Trade, trading resources. We are going to trade, sell all above the value of a specific number. Okay, how about I sell all above what 50? Keep 50 for myself, keep 60 for myself. Okay, so if I'm reading this correctly, I'm going to sell 40, right? Sell all above the value. Right, I'm gonna sell 40 of those. What else can I sell? Uh, they want honey, I don't have honey. They want glass, I don't have glass. Oh, they're selling. They're buying. Uh, they're buying lumber, how much lumber do I have? Okay, I can buy, I can sell some of that. 
Cell all above. I'd like to be able to type in here though. Just clicking this is bullpucky. Okay, hold on. I can hold it down. So all above 90. I want to keep 90 just in case I have to build. All right, hopefully that'll bring me in some cash. That'll bring me some cash ish, I'm hoping. Oh, look at that guy. He's coming in. Yeehaw! All right, you want an audience. Oh, God. 30 berries in 60 days, and I'll get tools. I need tools. I need tools. Sorry. I need tools. I have a new quest. We have plenty of berries. Let's do it. Deliver. Ta -da! Good. Happy days. And I got 200 gold, which was needed. This guy's coming in. Hopefully this guy's going to give me some coins. Uh, uh, did he give me anything? I don't even know where he went. Where did he go? Did he leave? Did you pay me? Did you give me any money? You just taking my berries and running? What a turd. I don't even know what happened there. Hopefully I made some money off of that. Okay, we could increase the population. Do we have a priest yet? How do I get a priest? How do I sign somebody to... Do I send them off to, like, monastery school or something? Stone mason. Stone mason hut. I need cloth. Can I buy cloth? Not from them. So the only way that I can make cloth is to have a weaver. Yeah. Cloth from wool, which means I need a sheep farm. Yeah. Where can I put the sheep? <laughs> We're going to put the sheep up here with the priest. <laughs> Quiet. Be quiet, all of you guys. Be quiet. We're putting this sheep up here with a priest. Don't give me a hard time about that. <laughs> we gotta put the tailor shop somewhere, somewhere down here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 16 sheep. <laughs> oh. Did I give... The trader, did the trader give me any tools? I don't know. I have 10. These guys are the slowest lumber guys on the planet. We have nine. Uh, where did all of our... Did I sell it? No, I'm not even selling logs. Ooh, what happened to all my logs? Hmm. Interesting, right? Hey, planks, I have a hundred planks. I don't know what happened to all my wood, though. And I'm making the assumption that these guys are actually cutting down these trees, right? You are? You guys are going so slow. You know what I need to do is I really need to move that, that lumber camp. I mean, it's not that far to walk, right? I don't know. I don't know. Clearly, it is. So they're going to get five tools, so I'm going to need to put down weavers. Keep farm 50, and then weavers. And I will start making cloth. And cloth is going to be good for my town. I'd like to put, like, 
cloth down in here. I mean, I'd like to have the town center be the town center, but you know, you start off with like a small little area, so it's kind of hard to, to move that out of there. Hmm. It's hard to move the town later. It truly is. Because you got to rebuild all the houses. And let's actually auto-update the houses. Let's get rid of those. I don't want anybody to auto-update their house. You guys all need to keep your house the way that it is. If it's a crud house, then it has to remain crud house. All I'm saying. Let's, uh, let's invite some more people to join my community. Let's turn this back on. Four days for immigration. Right, I need to get another villager. I need to get a villager to tend my sheep and then also to actually do the, the clothier. So we have to wait three more days for immigration. Hopefully we get two more people at the very least. They're going to need housing now. So a fisher's hut, I need 20 serfs. Or a fisher's hut. If that's how that works. All right, Justin, take it easy, buddy. PC overheated. Ouch. Three people came in. Happy day for three people coming in. Let's get uh, one guy working here. Oh, wait. They haven't come in yet? They take a minute or two to get in. Yeah, most everybody's happy. I got some people that are really happy. So I had three people come in, but they are... They didn't show up yet. Are they... Come on, guys. I don't see the unemployed. All right, hands is in. Fall on a sheep. Okay, there we go. Spawn some sheep. Got one shepherd assigned. Let's get. Do I have the? Oh god, I'm down eighteen. We need um, we need a hundred gold before we can do the weaver set. And I guess if we do the Weaver's Hut, then we can actually start selling other stuff. I guess we'd have to put down another marketplace, right? Ah, they really changed this. Another marketplace. Where's uh, where's the marketplace again? Market. Yeah, I'd have to do goods. And luxury goods are what? What are luxury goods? 150 gold for luxury woods? Wow. Hmm. Been cool there? Yep. Been kind of cool here too. Starting to start to become fall. Okay, let's get rid of the immigration for now. I have to stay on top of this. How many people can I get for woodcutters? We have enough. Transporters, sawmill, 
stone cutters. We can add more. Warehouse, we can add more. I don't want to add more right now. I do. If I ever get the money for it. I do want to add in our... Weaver. Common clothes exchange for cloth. That would be good. I could sell that. Food is free. Bathrooms are a thousand a second. Right. Very, very right. An envoy with an audience. Good. Who's going to pay me money here? I have plenty of berries. So that's a quick 200 gold. Plus we get... Plus 10 for that. Let's go for the people. We can deliver this right away. Get 200 gold. Cannot deliver. Need resources in the warehouse. Resources in the warehouse. Oh, I'm down to... I don't need resources in the warehouse. I think that's... I just need resources here. Oh, you just re-upped your inventory, didn't you? Yeah, he did. 49 berries. 14 berries were sold, though, this week. 420. Barely staying on top of this whole process, though. You know what we need to do is we need to get another... Yeah, here. You know what? Let's pick these berries. Let's get ourselves another gathering. But we're going to put it right here. I don't want to get rid of those trees. I want those trees to go away. Okay, we've got a gatherer's hut built there. And then we'll assign some more gatherers and we'll get the berries increased. I still have 57 days for this, so it's not going to be too, too bad. My people are happy, so, you know, I can't complain too much. All is good. People are 83, 84. It's been bouncing back and forth, and that's that's a good thing to have. I mean, you can't be complained about that. I have three unemployed people, which is perfect because that'll give me the people that I need for... The gatherer's hut, which will then in turn give me the berries, which will then in turn give me my 200 bucks, which then in turn will be able to make the weaver hut. I hope. I hope. And I don't know why I don't have a priest. I need a priest of 16. I don't know how I get to priest status. But I need to figure out how to get the priest status. And these sheep definitely need to be sheared. Or eaten. Or something. See, he's working on one sheep. Yep. There he goes. Do so we have wool? Where's wool? <laughs> you gotta be an altar boy first? Okay. You're probably right. Resource panel, okay, we have 30 something, 36 wool. All right, gatherer is built. One, two, three. Sigelman. That's gonna give me enough berries. That's then in turn gonna give me the things that I want. The things that I want and the things that I need. It's good. This game has come a long ways. A uh, bunch of new mechanics. They haven't changed the UI any. I was really hoping that that would be something they would add in. It, it tends to be the last thing that they fix. So, 
You know, maybe we'll see a UI change towards closer to when they're going to 1.0 uh, release. All right, more berries are coming in, right? You guys are all going to the well. Drop the berries off. Drop off your berries. How many's in here? 24. 36. 26, I mean. I, I, I almost feel like I want to stop this guy. It's cool that you see people go up and, and get the berries, and then you see the, <laughs> this number go up. But the problem is he keeps going back and forth and picking up berries. Dang him. Yeah, I don't understand where all the berries are. Come on, I need my 200. You would think with adding those three guys for berries, I would have had this already. And why did my berries go down to 15? Who's eating berries out of this area? I don't understand how this works. I, I would like a, hey, don't touch me kind of thing, you know. Leave my berries alone. <laughs> That's what I want. I want my leave my berries alone button. See, he went over and picked up berries. You're not selling that many. How do we pause this guy? Pause production. Is that is that it? The MC Hammer button, can't touch this, right. I think I paused him. He's not gonna go and get any more. He's got 45, we're gonna let this accumulate. Now I don't think I fired him, I paused him. He's still working there. All right, hold on, all right. Bingo. Now we can build the Weaver Hut. I would really like to put it downtown, but... Okay, yeah, I'm gonna put it here. Looks like a good place for the weaver. Alright. Two people want houses. Of course they do. Residential. Let's expand out my residential down here. Gonna draw this baby out a little bit. Good, and let's get rid of residential up here. Maybe I can move that guy's house. I don't know, honestly, how that works. If I have to demolish his house? Jane, Emma? You sure you want to delete all house parts? Sure. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry guys, move downtown. Move downtown, that's all I gotta say. Get get out from the slums, come downtown. I'm not very serious, I guess I wasn't very serious. All right, I did that quest, let's push that guy back to work. Get him over there, there you go. Berries are being sold this week. We need a worker for... 
Okay, let's got immigrations coming in. Hold on. One day we're gonna have some people immigrate. Four people, three decided to join. Perfect. Let's turn immigration off. It does take a while for those people to come here, I guess. I don't know where they're they're coming from, but it takes a while for them to get there. Yep, still waiting for this though. How many wool do I have? Where's my production resource panel? 51 wool. God, where are my new guys? Okay, there we go. One new guy came in. All right, he's gonna start making cloth. What, what do I need to get a tailor's hut going? 50 gold, polished stones, dang it. So I'm gonna need the stonemasons first. I'm gonna need five cloth and then I'm gonna need a stonemasons hut. Aww. Oh, I got another guy coming in. Hello, fine sir. How art thou be, you people thing? I mean, the berries are the easiest. I'm just going to go with it. I have it. It's easy to pause this guy, get my berries into this slot here, and then just make a quick 200 gold. And I'll have the money. I won't have the resources to build a tailor's hut, but I can put the tailor's hut down. And then, and also I could probably, the stonemason. So I'll get the stonemason down first. And the tailors down. Whoa, bread. He wants bread in 14 days. Oh, I didn't read that one correctly, did I? Dang it. Oh, man, now I'm going to lose five whatever that is. Let's not fancy patties. No, they fancy bread this time around. Ah, I should have read that. I should have read the fine print a little bit better. Ouch. That was my dum dum. I did a dum dum. I have 20 cloth. Let's get the stone camp. Not stone camp. Polisher, right? What is he called? Stone mason hut. Oh, I have the gold. Stone mason hut it is. Stone mason. Rotate you around, sir. Uh, have you right here. This is a very fine location for you to be working. All right, we had the money for that. We built that up. Uh, tailors almost have a 50 gold. We can put the tailor shop down. Ooh, I have it. Let's get the tailor shop in. Wow, tailor shop's looking kind of snazzy. Hey, beauty, tailor shop's down. I won't be able to do that until I have of the appropriate stuff. Of this. We still have people available? We do. Good. I will do this. I'll, I'll wait for one guy here. How are we doing on lumber? Our lumber is suckage. All right, team, take it easy, buddy. Hey, how'd you do on that test, man, before you leave? 
Did I build the forester camp yet? No, I haven't built the forester camp yet. I will, though. I'm trying to get them to clear out a specific area. Like, I wanted them to clear out this area. I'm just doing it very slowly. And then I can move my whole outfit over here. And they can just start working here. This will be my production area. It actually would be better to have my production area up in here. But, you know. You'll know tomorrow? All right. Hopefully you did well. Hopefully you studied, sir. You studied, kind sir. Don't be watching me. Hit the books, bud. Yeah, I'm not able to keep up with my wood right now. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn off the planks. Pause the production on the wood planks. So I can get some just standard logs up. If you guys haven't already, hit that like button. This is One Last Midnight. If you're not subscribers, please subscribe. We've got a great community here. Play all kinds of games. And uh, if you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below. Remember to hit that notification bell so that you know when I go live and when I post videos. Okay, house is complete. I'm gonna fail this bread delivery. Dang it, I should have read that. That was so dumb. That's so dumb. You love the ability to move the menus in the game? Yeah, have you ever played Banished? Very banished, banished esque. It's not condensed enough for me, to be honest with you. They they added a lot of fluff, right? So if you look at, yeah, quest failed. Yeah, I know. I saw it. If you look at, like, let's say this part of the interface right here. Just by having these borders around this, you know, you've given up, what, maybe 20-something pixels. And so, you know, if you start counting up here, you can really start making this menu look a lot better by reducing just these little borders. They could come up with some some other way to, to reduce the number on the pixels. But they haven't they haven't worked on the UI yet, right? So this is beginning UI. It's, it's early access. Typically, they don't work on UI-related stuff until the end, until the main functionality is down. So can't complain too much about that. How's this lumber camp? 20 gold and 5 tools. You know, I think I'm going to put down a lumber camp. Another lumber camp. The slumber camp is too far away. They're, they're not able to get the point A and B quick enough, and I'm not getting lumber fast enough, and we're kind of holding up production here. By breaking this down, I get what? I get what back? I get 10 gold back and two tools back, so I net loss of three. But it, it's going to be worth it in the long run. So, okay, so I have the money. Let's put it down. The lumber camp that I want, right? Produces wood, right? That's what I want. Let's put it over here. Let's get them to knock this area out quickly. And then we'll demolish this one. So you missed most of the stream, but the game is sort of a cross of uh, AOE. Uh, Age of Empires? And some others? More like a Banish kind of related... Yeah, it's more like Banished. You know, if you like this type of game, Gumbo, get Banished. When it goes on sale, it's five bucks. The modding community is amazing. I've got plenty of Banished videos on there. It's a really fun builder game. 
And, uh, I mean, with the mods that are available, God, it's never ending. It, it absolutely is never ending. All right, so three guys are going to come work here. And they're going to start knocking this area out faster. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I have one stone polisher starting to work on their stone. So we can finish the tailor's hut and we can start selling clothing, which hopefully will start making me a little bit more money. My berry situation is okay. I care it's, you know, it's a, it's a never ending thing. You get more people, they eat more food, they drink more water. It's, it's, you know, it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. But by moving the lumber, you can already see my lumber is going up really fast. And the stone guy, how much stone? I have 40 something stone. So these guys, they're going to start producing. They're going to start producing quickly, hopefully. Got to have mods nowadays? Yeah. Way more playability. Way more playability. The guy who's doing Banish has actually started to work on a new game. Banish has been out for so long. He's been making so much money off of Banished. I really honestly wish that he would have gone back and tweaked the code some more to get a little bit more performance. Because when you get up to like a thousand villagers, it really starts to get bogged down. All right, Taylor's shop is complete. Now we have a tailor. We can start making clothing. And now that we have a clothier, a haberdashery, let's uh, build another market. But this one, a good stall. Now, can we zoom in? Can I get a good stall to... I guess I can't. I'll take this around. I thought that there was like a... Okay, well, whatever. Oh, wait, hold on. Can I edit this one? What's the market? Edit, yes. Good stall. Oh, yeah, we don't want it to snap up there. Is there a way to move this stall now? I'll go building part snapping. gonna let me start building this Ten wood 50 gold oh I can't do it till I have 50 gold dang it serious money problem here serious money problem it is money problem oh wait start construction Okay, good. Good. I can start selling clothing. How much clothing do I have? Ten. Nice. Got it when you came out. Haven't touched it recently. It hasn't really changed that much. But get get Colonial Charters mod or get the Mega Mod Pat pack which also includes the colonial charter and holy god you want to talk about good it completely adds to the production lines the the number of buildings you know the the core gameplay is the same but the amount of stuff that you can do is amazing 
All right, this is all fish. I don't have fish. All right, these guys are doing a great job on this area. Now that I have cleared it out or moved them over, to be honest with you. And I still have 90 wood, uh, 90 planks, so I, I really don't need people working there right now. And then we'll start, we'll, we'll move over here. We'll, we'll move the forestry over here. We'll move the lumber over here, the sawmill over here. And um, this will kind of be like my main production area, I think. Or actually, we could probably move it up here. We'll move it into this area up here. We'll just have them clear out this area down here. Actually, it'd probably be best to like buy this next this slot next. Though I really would like to buy. Oh, I did buy this land. Okay, so I this slot is going to be next because I actually want my forestry in this area back here and leave this down here for grain or something along those lines. This is going to be housing. We're going to continue to break this into housing. Move these people off this hill so I can move the sheep over and the windmills would look nice up here. We can do all kinds of stuff. So the weaver hut, I don't need to look at this anymore. I think we're good. Wool is what? 47. We are starting to get some polished stones. We have enough clothing. Did we finally get... Oh, yeah, we got this. We need to add clothing in. And I need a new worker. We don't have an available worker. How about I get rid of one forger for... A market tender. Somebody should come tend this market here. Yeah, Victoria's finally going to come over here. Sooner or later, right? right there we go. Alright, she's going to start selling clothing. There she is. Hey, how you doing? She waved. Did you see her? She waved. How cute. Come buy my clothes. Go. Come. See my fancy wares. Uh, don't you need to go get some stuff? Common clothes. Okay, hold on. What am I building? Common clothes. Okay. Don't you have to... S yeah, there you go. Go pick up the common clothes. I don't know where you're going. She has zero common clothes in her market. Are we storing common clothes? Can we store common clothes here? Common clothes. Okay, we'll store some common clothes there. See if she starts picking up common clothes from there. I think she will once I start putting in there. She's on a berry raid, probably, right? Sawmill I turned off. Plank production is still pretty solid. We have a ton in the warehouse anyways. Our wood is up to 90. Wow. We, we did well. We did well with planks and stuff. These guys are still chopping away. I do want to continue to keep moving my housing down. I want to get these people off that land. So let's remove this from residential. Let's get rid of these two guys. And I think I'm just going to demolish their house. I don't ultimately know how that works. So if I delete their houses from here, they should have enough room to start building down here. I mean, it looked big enough already, but maybe I need to expand it out a little bit more. I agree, nobody wants to be next to the Forester, guys. But we'll get that fixed.
Let's actually get rid of this extraction point. Let's see, control and wheel, yeah. Let's expand out this grass size. Oh, whoa, wrong way. Oh, okay, we can fix this. Hold on, hold on. We need to fix this. Okay, that's gonna be extraction point for that. Let's increase the size of this and get rid of it. Bing, bing. Good. We don't need that area in the water. As soon as the rest of those trees are gone, I can get rid of this, this lumber. Make this land a little bit more appealing for people to move into. Okay, is she finally selling clothes? She has two clothes she sold for, tw for 20 gold. Good. Uh, I don't know how to make people... Yeah, good. They bought more clothes. Three gold. Yeah, there you go. Start selling, sweetie. Get to work. Good. These guys are finally moving in down here. Finally decided to move their stuff. I don't have a notification that I don't have any room for them to build, so I'm, I'm in good shape. They will start building and continue to keep building. I like, yeah, okay, good. She's got 40 something in inventory. He's got 37 in inventory. I don't need to look at that anymore. My stockpile is looking pretty good. My trees are up pretty high. I've almost got this lumber area taken care of. And then I can get rid of the rest of these houses. And I will move. This is iron, right? Can I collect iron yet? No. Iron mine, iron smeltery, coopery, coal. No. I can't do any of that yet. I don't even think that's iron. I think that's... That might be stone. That might be stone. We, we haven't made enough money yet in the village. I haven't built the village up enough yet to be able to... Um... You know, make a consistent amount of cash. We are starting to sell some more goods. Well, we can get these other farms in, like this dairy farm in, or, you know, any of these other things. Then then we'll start, we're making some decent money. Cheese maker. So the dairy farm and cheese maker come in hand in hand. The bakery and the wheat farm and the mill. Those three items work to all together. The weaver's hut, the sheep farm, and the tailor's workshop. That all works together. Is there seasons in this? I don't think there's. they've implemented seasons yet. And it's interesting that this area, once I get up to 20 serfs and two points, I, I don't know what that two points is. I have 15 serfs right now. Then I can actually get a fishing hut. Unlock a wooden keep, unlock a wooden mall, unlock a stone mill. I can unlock this wooden keep. What else can I unlock here? Nothing. Did we do the wooden keep? Does that affect this at all? No. Uh, let's see. We shall allow you to establish an outpost in our territory. As such, you will be able to participate in military campaigns for your liege. Don't forget that this is a privilege. Right. Tell His Majesty I will comply with the royal request. Dude, I don't... Yeah, I don't... I have other things to do right now.
How much was this game? I think it was, uh, God. I don't know what it is on Steam right now. I can't alt tab. If uh, one of the mods or somebody can, can post that, I think it was like 29? It's in early access. It's got a ways to go. Twenty nine, thirty bucks. Painting districts and city skylines. Yes, absolutely. All right, there's another envoy. What does he want? Bread. I can't do bread. I can't do bread. Sorry, bud. As soon as I can get. I mean, a wheat farm's a hundred gold, man. I can't. I can't. I don't have the money for that. Twenty planks, ten tools. I can do that, but I. I can't. My money keeps is not going up high enough. Bread is something else that I could sell. So, I mean, if I can get a wheat farm down, then I would need to get a bakery down, which is 300 gold. God. And of course, a bakery is no good until I can get a windmill, which turns the wheat into flour. So that's 200 gold. So I'd have to go wheat farm, windmill, bakery. Which is, you know, a whopping total of 500 gold. 600 gold. And I don't have it. Does this game have a small developer team? Yeah, I think it is. It's it's not it's not overly huge. It's not like super massive or anything. All right, I got the wheat farm in. We're just going to have to work on the gold for everything else. Look at the bakery down here. Uh, the windmill. You know, I would really like to have my windmill up here or something. I mean, that, that would just be absolutely cool. I think that would look great up here. That's 200 gold. Sounds like a weed farm. It's not a weed farm. It's a wheat farm. Wheat. Wheat. Wheat farm. Yeah, I'm just a little disappointed that it can't go like 4x or 5x. It needs one more additional speed. It truly does. Truly, truly, truly does. Now I could start selling stone, polished stone. What, uh, I, I won't be able to open up the next trade area until I have, oh wait, clothing. Aha! I can do clothing. I have 20, okay. So these guys are selling what? Coal, iron, fish, wine, and berries, which I don't need. And they're buying bread for 10. Wow. I need to get into bread. God, these guys are buying clothes for 10. Is anybody selling bread? No, of course not. These guys are selling bread. Well, if I can unlock this... I could sell my clothes for 10 here. Wow, that'd be that'd be some good money. And we could knock down like another another tailor. Well, we just need it. Oh, it's just one tailor can be assigned to this. But I can have it like a secondary weaver though, right? Yeah, I can have two weavers. Hmm. Took five seconds. <laughs> I guess it's still small enough game. Yeah, it's small. It's small. It's small, but the graphics have held up. Like I said, go look at Mega Mod. DBA, have a, have a wonderful night, buddy. I'm actually out too. I I'm going to be leaving here in a couple minutes. 
I've been played for two hours. I've enjoyed everybody who's joined me tonight. Matter of fact, I haven't even saved it in a long time. Let's save this. Uh, let's call it, uh, okay, do that. Yeah, I'm going to call it because that's two hours. And I think that we played pretty well for two hours. I mean, we are starting to make our money back. We did expand out pretty fast. You know, there's just a lot of stuff to do. I don't want to overbuild. I still want to get rid of these houses and get all these other things going on. But thank you, everybody, for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for donating. That just, you know, absolutely warms my heart. So thank you for doing that. And uh, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.